Can I have a number one and two? Pay the rent. Survive. <laughs> and wait around until television grows up again. Ooh. Nine. Oh, it works for the RSC, the National, and starring roles and win the Academy Award. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and have a healthy grandchild in September. Oh! You've got, a, you've got a life ahead of you. I've got a two and a half year old. And I can't wait. I'm a little ripper. <laughs> 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 Equity will allow us. Uh, I was actually put up for a role uh, about 18 months ago. Uh, for EastEnders and the casting director's response was too high profile. <laughs> It's uh, very much like you compete with yourself with your own ear and something else. Oh, well, that's not fair. I, I don't believe in... It was a woman who was in New Zealand, in fact. But I never ever say, because it's not fair to the actors... You have to lose a few vowels. I have to lose a few vowels. Yes. Does it find you the prisoner is something that you did like 10 or years ago? I don't think that's the right word. No, it's, um... It's peculiar. Uh, in 1986, I thought, that's it, you know, good, lovely, four and a half years of regular employment, that was very nice, and um, went on about my business. And it's only because of its popularity here <coughs> um, that, that this whole upturn has, has happened again. And that in itself is quite remarkable, because when I was here in January, February, March, um, my last week in the country, I spent here in London, I switched it early on, and saw something that I had screened, had shot, 10 years practically to the day. Yeah. It was my very second <coughs> episode, so it was literally 10 years to the day. <laughs> yeah. Did, yeah. Was there a similar reaction in Australia at the time, or yes. subsequently? Mm. Oh, yes, you so didn't discover it. it. No, I'm afraid. The English did not discover it. it was, it's been very popular in every country. Yeah. Yeah. Is it still shown a lot around the world? Yes, it's uh, at 4 a.m. in Australia. It's <laughs> about the third time. Uh, <laughs> no money yet, no. No, no. Well, everybody's got a theory about that, and I think, simplistically, it's a voyeuristic thing. You're looking at a closed society of women, and I think not many people, not many people in, in the general viewing public, really have a lot to do with somebody in prison. Um, I, I do think it's a voyeuristic thing. Of course, you'd be women in prison. Yeah, women in prison. There's a very... How did you both feel about taking the wrong person in the first place? Were you... I was the last... I was so sick. The biggest opportunity that's ever been handed by. I was the last... I was a challenge, and I've never had a long-running thing on television. And I was ready for it. You know, I've done the bits and pieces here and there, and, you know, a, a day here, a week there, and uh, maybe once a year I'd go into a television studio. And um, and I loved prisoner right from the start. And I, I was fantastic, mainly because it was giving such a, a marvellous vehicle to some of our finest actors. It was taking character actors out of cameo roles. Yeah. How was it contracted for? I mean, you joined later on. For three months. Right, and then. then yeah. So weeks. Initially, the original cast members, the original thirteen, had a six-week contract. <laughs> and before, 16 weeks, I'm sorry. And before that 16 weeks was up, we were asked oh, to, to yeah. extend. And I'm not even going to wear that. <laughs> Somebody knew. <laughs> well, that's, that's how I felt about it, because before my 13 weeks was up, I was asked to resign. I said, how do you know? It hasn't gone to me. You know, it hasn't gone to me. Why was there a obsession with Australia? What? The obsession of Australia with you. I mean, any, any person over 13 that's in Australia, mm. so it's either a pathway. My, my complaint. Yes, I agree with you. Well, the answer to that question is in the hands of the television executive. Um, the two, two of our three major networks are now owned by the bank. Kerry Packard still owns his, um, as in video and top of Australia. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, if I knew the answer to that, I'd be a television executive. I, I'm damned if I know, because the bulk of the population is not 12 to 13 years old. Um, someday they'll perhaps get back to adult television. I went home determined, after being so impressed with British television, determined to start a campaign called TV Mega Mature. <laughs> 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 and 
Well, we were thinking of the baby boomers, sort of, uh, you know, those people who are getting older. They go to have to start catering. I don't know. I think, I think the balloon's about to burst. I, I believe that there are mutterings about to come out in the press about it. Uh, and I think that's what the accent on untried, unskilled youth. Just as stupid as we are. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't like to say that. <laughs>